Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with a sweet upgrade or option for those fidget toys. So let's get cracking. So friends, obviously if you haven't done the first lesson, I will have a link up above so you can get to that. We are working in code blocks. When you get to code blocks, I want you to always make sure you duplicate. That way we can always get back to our original as we make different versions of this. So once again, if you haven't seen this before, we created an inside out of a cone, a cylinder and a cone. We added some words and then we created an outside. If we speed this up and hit play, you'll see it draws the middle, it cuts in our letters, and then I added an outside like this. And then when you print it, and then when you print it, you can spin it around. It's small, it prints fast, and it's kind of fun. So real quickly, friends, we've got all these toys to play with. Right now I'm gonna play with the star. I've already done this with the heart. Hopefully you'll be able to see when we're done that they're the same trick. So I'm gonna change the name to Star Fidget. So I'm gonna back that up so that way I can keep track of which one this is. All right, so let me walk you through the adjustments here. If I change this to only be five high, and I change Z to 20, when we hit play, see how it draws on the top chunk of our project. I'm gonna change that instead to 23. And now I've got a design along the top edge. If I break this out, break this off and throw out our cube and instead bring out the star. If we just drop it in at first and I'm going to change this to two so it's not doing it all the way around. When we hit play you'll see that the star is huge and it's aimed the wrong way. So we just need to fix that with a couple quick things. Under modify let's start with a rotate and then we need to bring out a scale I'm going to tell you that we're going to use that 0.3 again and 0.3 again. Keep Z of 1 and don't forget to make these holes. Let's see what we get this time. We're rotating around X. If we hit play, you can see they turned the right way, but it's scaled funny. Let's pull that all out real quick, break the scale out, and put the rotate under the scale. So we'll scale it first. Notice I'm bringing this back up in. We've still got the add shape, then we've got the scale, then we've got the rotate, the move, and then another rotate. Let's hit play and see if that looks better. So it does look better, but you can see that it's sticking in too far. So I'm gonna change this to 0.75. I'm also gonna change the height to 20 because it was so high up. When we hit play, that's not too bad, but it's still a little larger. So I'm going to switch to 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 and hit play. And this is what's so cool is you can adjust and test to see what you think is the sweetest. 0 0.5, I'm going to hit play. I like how far that one's cutting in. I'm going to change the height to 22. I like that height, so I'm going to go back to 10. And when we hit play, I have just put stars all the way around my shape. I want to have two sets of stars, so watch this. Let's take the group and set it over here. Right click and duplicate. If you move down, you can set it down below. Once again, we're going to create group, but this one, instead of being 22 high, Let's see what happens if we do five high. Once again, play, hit your stars. Notice five is pretty close. I think instead we want six and play. That is pretty sweet. So friends, hopefully you understand that this was all solved with guess and check. I did it with the heart and I found out that 0.3 was pretty slick for the hearts. So then I figured I'd try it with the stars. I had to change my numbers. Uh, it's important to remember that you scale first and then rotate, but you can go back to these shapes and you can play with any combination of these as you try and make your own epic fidget toy. 
Please, friends, if you do make an awesome fidget toy, you can share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. You could also visit the HLModTech.com website and contact me using the messaging. Let me know how you did with this awesome project. Friends, if you're in class, remember that to get it printed, you need to hit export, and we do STL. And then you need to have followed the steps where it asks where you want to save. We go to our quick access, find the STL, and we make sure it has our name and initials. Once you've got that done, let me know, and we can pick a color and get it printed. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.